So following up from yesterday, I want to start up the DNA, take it for a quick spin, warm it up, see if it's functioning as it should be. That's a new coil as well. That's a new spark plug and a new coil. The old coil was a bit, um, it, yeah, that's running really well. Okay, one drip from here. Yes, but it's the oil, we can see it. So it's oil for sure. Yeah, what I'll do is let's dump, let's clean it like last time, different area, and then we'll get more of an idea. But I think you need a uh, gasket. Gary, I got a new camera. The footage should be much clearer. At the moment, at the moment, the footage looks pretty, pretty yeah. sleek. Um, yeah. Yeah, it should, because the old one just got a bit, just got a bit bad in the end, didn't it? Um, right. So, uh, I'm going to throw the advert back up for that. I'll be very honest about it, and you know, it's pretty much a running, riding old bike that needs bits and pieces done, but it's got its MOT. Gary will take that out for a spin after because you, you have to try bikes, you, you're nuts not to. And we're keeping an eye on a small oil leak here, but it's pretty much the clutch uh, cover. Um, and we can use a sealant or get a new gasket for it. But, yeah. Ah, so annoying. I wanted Gary to try the KTM. We just ran out of time, it's thunderstorming. Um, I'm trying to convince Gary, I'm saying it's time to band it. It should go soon. How long have you had it? A year? Two? Two and a half. Two and a half. So uh, I think it's time for Gary to move to fuel injected. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying SV Gladius or something similar. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. Gary's second bite. He loves the bandit. He loves the speed. He loves the power. But carbs need rebuilding you know at the moment it has a, a couple of small oil leaks a couple of small carb leaks they, they just overflow slightly every now and again uh i mean it's fine it's fine if he uses it daily he'll get another year out of it but i know that it's due the kind of maintenance that costs three four five hundred pounds and you could add that to all to suzuki gladius or something similar so yeah, let me know in the comments, what should Gary get? And if you've seen any of Gary's videos, you'll pick something fairly small. <laughs> the next day. Hi everyone, and welcome back. Um, this footage is so much clearer. Um, yesterday I did an hour or two with Gary at the garage, but it poured down um, and it was impossible to continue doing anything. At this stage, the Galera DNA is up and advertised, ready for sale. It ran beautifully, no issues at all. And all we were really doing was I was working on the carbs for the um, phaser, of course. And I got to a stage where they were free, but I, I had one mistake. So why aren't they sitting back though? Look, so, so they're a bit stiff, but but they're free. And then one of the issues I had was one of the springs fell out. 
of it's over here look it's down in there so it's the balancing spring uh, they're a right pain in the ass to uh, to put back in but I'm gonna try and get that back in today these could be up and rebuilt today uh, my only slight concern is that uh, they're not they're not returning on their own um, and I don't like the idea of relying on the return cable alone the return cable is a backup in case the springs go I mean they're not even returning from there so still more work to be done uh, lots of lubrications and unless they're returning properly uh, I, I won't use them at this stage uh, I did split the uh, case briefly yesterday um, but I didn't split them completely I might I might have to to see if I can sort out the the springs basically so I may have to consider splitting them completely but that's not really my task for today my task for today is with my car um, after all the work I did on the cooling system a few weeks back that worked by the way that that system is holding and the thermostat is working I don't know how it, it was one of the toughest jobs I've ever done um, on that car so but now it needs a fuel pump rebuild so I need to basically go back down to where I was next to the thermostat which is a right pain the fuel pumps there and pull it off and send it off for repair now these jobs I had to sell the Harley to be able to afford these these jobs um, the rebuild is 200 quid and I needed some other bits and pieces so I know it seems silly selling the Harley and buying uh, the KTM, but there was, I needed a grand to get some of the car stuff uh, done and other bits and pieces, a couple of bills, basically. Right, so um, I do, annoyingly, I do need to put these aside so that I can go and get the car, although I'm really tempted to split them briefly just to see what's going on. So the carbs are back together mostly but I, I know carbs I know bikes um, they're they're out of sync they're not right and I'm not talking about me being able to sync them they're all kind of ruined really um, that would need an absolute full rebuild top to bottom and economically it would cost more than a secondhand pair if you can find the set um, I know me I know what I'm like I'm not going to continue because I know that uh, it won't run perfect. So what I really want is a, a second hand set that have come off a bike recently so that I can give it a quick clean and chuck it on. So the phaser may be sitting for a couple of weeks, but that is okay. Uh, I, If I get that up and running, I want it up and running to an extent where I can press the button all the time and it's up and running, you know. I don't want to mess with carbs that have been hacked and seized and this and that and... Yeah, they're never going to be as great. What 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 they need? I have I have just fully broken them down into singles, um, but even then they they're gone. They're gone. Uh, so second hand set. I'm going to keep an eye out for. I'll, I'll grab a set as soon as they pop up, and uh, the phaser will be back on track. But I do need to go and get the car because I do need to get my fuel pump off. 